An investigation by Sky News has revealed fake sweets containing cannabis are on sale on most social media platforms. Police in southern England have told us that they believe young boys and girls are already buying them. Here's Aisha with more. They may look like big brand name sweets, but look closer and you'll see subtle differences in packaging, but big differences in what they contain. These illegal sweets have substances like cannabis in them, and police say they're ending up in the hands of children. These sweets are widely promoted and sold online. They appear virtually everywhere. Sky News found them on all major social media platforms, including Instagram, TikTok and Facebook. And on Facebook alone, when we searched the term edibles on Marketplace, around a third of the results that came up contained drugs. It's something that's causing problems for most police forces around the country. Police in the east and southeast of England have shared exclusive information with us, suggesting that it's boys and girls consuming cannabis edibles. These boys and girls tend to be of secondary school age, and of people they've arrested, a third were under the age of 18. These illegal sweets contain something called THC, the ingredient in cannabis which gives the user a high. For children, side effects from it can be incredibly harmful. Cannabis damages mood, memory and motivation. Now that's a terrible damage of effect in young children to damage their mood, memory and motivation. And the other thing about cannabis is that it's a gateway drug. It's sold in county lines and the same people as are selling acid, ecstasy, uh, cocaine, heroin. There's also concern that consumption of these illegal sweets is rising. One of the things we know is that this, their sale in, is on the increase. Um, there seems to be more and more of them coming onto the market. Um, I think one of the things we are aware of is that there has been some um, recent hospitalizations of children who have been consuming these products. Meta, who own Instagram, Facebook and WhatsApp, said they proactively removed 98% of this content in the last quarter and that they're working with police and youth organisations to further improve their moderation. Aisha Zahid, Sky News.